Our next guest is a very funny comedian you know from her viral lip sync videos of President Trump. Her new special, Everything's Fine, is streaming now on Netflix. Let's take a look. Maybe it's a different one. Better not be the publicist. No, it's, it's her. It's yeah, that's her, with the gold. I gotta use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You just kiss. You just, you just, you can do anything. Please welcome to the show, Sarah Cooper. How are you, Sarah? I'm good. That was some good editing there. Cut it off right before the big line. <laughs> oh, no. We'll make sure we get it in. We'll get it in for the rerun. Hey, uh, it's so nice uh, to meet you. Uh, I, like uh, many people, uh, was introduced to you via uh, these videos you made where you lip sync Donald Trump. And uh, uh, in a way that I think presented the words that he was saying in a way that we weren't used to seeing and really laid mm -hmm. bare how little sense he made. Um, when did you realize that this was an effective way to uh, present him and what he was saying? Um, I, didn't, I think I realized that after people uh, started sharing them and, and getting really excited about them and, and the news media was really getting into them because for them, they have to be impartial. And so this was a really succinct way of showing how uh, empty his words were um, without having to do any like editorializing. And so that, that was really when it, it hit that um, it was newsworthy as well as entertaining and funny. And I think people just really enjoy being able to laugh without having to see his face. Um, and that was kind of the, the big difference between what I do and what most sort of impressionists do. And I don't even really call it an impression, but um, I, I think when that video where he was talking about injecting you know, Lysol into his veins uh, went viral, I realized that people were really excited to see uh, Trump's words come out of my mouth for some reason. Uh, with that said, a lot of people wonder, not just about someone like you, but someone like me, they would ask, are you disappointed uh, that he lost the election? Um, is it safe to say that that is as not true for you as it is for me? I am so happy. I'm so happy, but I'm, I'm, I'm more relieved than anything else because to be honest, Tuesday, it wasn't looking good for Democrats. And I was looking at my videos and I was like, if he wins, these won't be funny anymore. If he was actually able to escape everything that we've tried to get rid of him, including me with these videos, trying to point out to everyone how he was completely incompetent, then these videos would just be sad. Um, but now that he's lost, they're even more hysterical. So I'm very relieved for that. Uh, they will have a far longer uh, shelf life, I agree. Uh, you have, uh, I've, I've noticed you mentioned that uh, he has blocked you on Twitter. I assumed yeah. that the president blocked you on Twitter because of the videos, but it actually predated that. Yep, in 2017, uh, I responded to one of his tweets. I was one of the angry ones responding to all of his tweets, and I said that he was unfit for office, and he blocked me, and he has still blocked me to this day. I checked just today, and I'm still blocked. It's, it's very sad. He's very fragile, very sensitive man. I can't imagine what he's going through right now. Um, but I think, you know, do you remember that time where somebody – accidentally deleted his Twitter account for like a few hours. Yeah. Uh, why? We need to bring that guy back. Like, let's just, I mean, it just needs to go. He needs to stop tweeting. I know he would love to continue, but we need to move on. We just, we have to move on. We have to move on, Seth. Yes. I think uh, it, it seems like he's more than ready to move on. He seems to be taking it very well. Um, no. I, uh, I want to ask about this as well, that some uh, Trump fans in watching your videos uh, maybe responded more positively than you would have thought. Yeah, I mean, at first I was like, maybe they don't realize that I'm making fun of him. You know, maybe they're watching this and they're like, oh, a black woman who likes Trump. Maybe I'm not racist after all, you know. Um, and I would get comments like, I love Trump, but this is hysterical. And so I'm like, what are you laughing at? Um, but now I think... It's just, you can enjoy them on multiple levels. On one level, you can see like the satire and the irony of what's happening. And, and another level, it's just like bizarre to see his voice coming out of my mouth and the facial expressions I make. So I'm okay with it now. I, I, I'm, I've ex come to accept it, especially since he lost. I'm okay with it. If he had won and then people had pointed to me like, oh, maybe she actually helped him with these videos, then I would have been, I would have been distraught. 
Uh, you, I want to talk about the Netflix special as well. You have a ton of great guest stars. Uh, Helen Mirren, as we saw in the clip. Uh, John Hamm, uh, Natasha directed it. And, and then Fred Armisen as well, our band leader. And you were, uh, is it true that you were excited to be working with Fred? I was super excited. I, I met Fred like seven years ago at a South by Southwest uh, panel. I took a picture with him afterwards. And uh, I, um, I was just like a huge fan of his. And uh, when I was working with Natasha Leone, who's director uh, of the special, she was texting me and she said, Fred's here. And Fred, you know, read some of this stuff and he likes it. And I was like, oh my God, Fred Armisen is reading this and, and, and he's, he's liking it. This is incredible. And then Natasha said, Fred thinks that you don't know who he is. And I said, what? <laughs> yeah, he, apparently he truly believed that I didn't know who he was. <laughs> And so I was able to send this picture as proof that I knew exactly who he was. There you go, there's and, that. Yeah, and I even got his glasses. I mean, I was a big <laughs> fan. Um, I, uh, I even used to, oh, I didn't tell him this, so I hope he's not watching this, but um, I used to own the domain fredarmisonfans.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, assuming, I'm assuming you flipped that for a pretty penny. I mean, I was hoping Fred would come back at some point and be like, I need this domain, Sarah. I'll give you a million dollars for it. But it just never happened. Just well, now he knows it's out there. By the way, that yeah. really is a story. And Fred, I do hope you're watching. That's a story about Fred being very needy. <laughs> is it? I thought yeah. it was humility. No, it's it like, neediness? I don't think she knows oh. who I am. Come on, Fred. <laughs> Fred. Damn um, you, Fred. You fooled me. <laughs> you've, had a, you've had a really... I mean, uh, it's been a crazy year for a lot of people, but your year has had a lot of very positive things uh, that are maybe would have been hard to predict at the beginning of the year. Uh, you guest hosted for Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, you appeared at the DNC. Were you able to take stock and appreciate uh, the year you were having as it was happening? No, I wasn't. <laughs> it was, it just, you know, this year has been so emotionally draining um, that I feel like I was experiencing all these emotions and I just didn't have time to process them. Like it just hit me that I was in bed with John Hamm. Like I, yeah. it still hasn't even really hit me yet that that actually happened. Um, and I think in a year, maybe it'll, it'll hit me again, but it'll, it, it's, it's just so strange because, you know, yes, a lot's changed, but at the same time, I'm still just, you know, at home working from home. Uh, you know, I'm doing all these interviews from home. Like, so a lot's changed, but then nothing has changed. It's, it's been, it's, it's really weird, but everyone is telling me to really enjoy this moment. So I'm trying to enjoy this moment, but at the same time, it, everything feels very surreal. Uh, well, uh, we certainly enjoyed having you here. Congratulations on everything. It's been great to speak to you and great to meet you. Thank you so much, Seth. It was awesome meeting you. And I, I have Seth, um, Seth Meyers fans too. So. <laughs> uh, that's the one Fred's gonna wanna buy. <laughs> uh, everything Fine is streaming on Netflix.